When Michael Jordan came to Baltimore's Camden Yards for the All-Star Celebrity Home Run Contest, he was the center of everyone's attention, ball players included. Of course, Michael did a little hero worshiping too, finding a soulmate in baseball's newest Hall of Famer. Clutch man here. I'm glad I like clutch people. Step in there when the pressure's on and you know, knock the ball out of the park or something when you need it. Or strike out. It takes a big man to strike out, but it takes a big man also to hit a home run. I like both sides of them. I'm not a whale wisher. I take him for both. So watch me strike out. You don't want to swing hard to try to hit the ball over left field. You want to swing hard to try to keep the ball in the center of the diamond. You get a little cocky, a little more confident, make it do something. That could be, it could be. It is. He's, he's hooking them all, isn't he? See, this guy's been in a batting cage. He's lying. You got the ball on the barrel? Now I'll do a little bit more. But get comfortable first. Okay. Two or three line drive, then boom. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. Proud of you. You hit one over? Yeah, one. I'm gonna go ahead and catch some. If I can find me a glove. I think that'd be able to get you a glove. Reg, you got gloves out here, man? Michael Jordan with a baseball glove was almost as pretty a sight as Michael Jordan with a basketball. He could play somewhere. You could get a player out there and you wouldn't notice that much difference. Look at, look at this, look at this. Look at him go for the ball. Bill, he got some skills. Yeah. What, this clown? Yeah. yeah, this clown here got some skills. You know, that's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I get warmed up first? What do you think of Jordan as a pitcher? Huh? Well, um, I trust him about as much as I trust him with a gun. Are you scared yet? Strike two. Throwing strikes may have felt like old times to the one-time high school pitcher, but standing in at the plate was another story. I can't hit no left-hander. For some reason, I just cannot hit a left-hander. Well then, how about hitting Hall of Fame right-hander Bob Gibson? Hey, don't throw no junk, man! Once Gibby warmed up, so did Michael. No big surprise that Jordan outhit everyone else to wind up the game's top scorer. Of course, this was all in fun, and so was Jordan's ragging on another champion, Kirby Puckett. Hey, three championships, though, boy. Three championships. Three. Hey, I got two. Hey. Hey, I, I still got time. I still got time. Hey, I do too. Believe it or not, Michael Jordan wasn't just doling out the autographs. He was collecting a few, too. I think we'll, I think we'll pull back, dog. Turn this off and do whatever you got to do. <laughs> Let me get my autograph. I'm going to go shoot basketball with him. Yeah. Work on my jumper. You know, I may be able to play for the Sonics one day. I may have to guard him. <laughs> like so many other All-Stars, Griffey wanted a Michael Jordan souvenir, too. White Sox, you want this one? Mm -hmm. and I take it off my back here. Yeah, so I get it too. You sign it? Yeah. I get it. I see the White Sox all the time. They give me those. And what will Ken Griffey Jr. do with his Michael Jordan souvenir? It's a nice jersey. Yep. Going home on my wall. For the world's most famous athlete, just another day in the life. <laughs>